So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much Appreciated. Now, the stories I want to dive into today includes Daredevil PlayStation 5 and new updates on that, play PlayStation 2 on PlayStation 5 upgrade soon, and Silent Hill 2 announcement very soon as well. Uh, first, rate Spider-Man 2 from 1 to 10. Now that the game has been out for a while, and I know most of you have gotten and beaten the game based off uh, recent comments uh, at this point, and probably even platinumed the game as well, let me know what's your rating for Spider-Man 2. So comment below from 1 to 10, what is your current rating for Spider-Man 2? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, Silent Hill announcement happening very soon. So, Silent Hill 2 Remake was revealed to us last year at the Silent Hill Transmission, and since then, we have yet to get any new information on the game. The game was rumored to launch in September of this year, but then the voice actor of James Sun uh, Sutherland, the main character, uh, Luke Roberts, stated that it's going to probably release in early 2024, and this looks to be the case at this point. Obviously, we're past September, uh, heading into the end of the year and Silent Hill 2 Remake has been popping up on different retailer sites recently. In the last couple of days, the game has popped up at websites like Video Game Plus, GameStop, and most recently this morning, Amazon. Based off this, it looks like something is going to happen soon. But just how soon? Is Sony going to hold their own state of play this month to talk about this? Or is there going to be another Silent Hill transmission even though we're past October? Or are we waiting until the Game Awards to find out this release date? The Game Awards will happen on uh, December 7th, which is uh, also not too far away. But these pre-orders popping up all in succession right now makes it seem like an announcement is closer than December 7th. I guess we'll see how this all plays out soon. Either way, via a trailer drop, a state of play, a Silent Hill transmission, or maybe even waiting until the Game Awards. Either way, whichever way they announce it, if it's something that's happening soon, I'm very excited to see how this game is handled because recently in their financial call, Konami mentions multiple Silent Hill remakes and if the Silent Hill 2 remake goes well, uh, this franchise could have a Resident Evil-like resurgence, which I hope does happen. Uh, I'm always down for more horror games and maybe even, you know, port them to PlayStation VR 2. Before we get to the next story, we're almost at 100k, guys. So if you enjoyed the video so far and have been enjoying my videos, of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. We're almost there. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Daredevil PlayStation 5 update. So this has been a confusing situation. Recently, we spoke about Daredevil and how players noticed that the Nelson and Murdoch plaque writing is missing in Spider-Man 2 as opposed to it was there in Miles Morales and Spider-Man 1. Uh, Brian Intihar, the director of Spider-Man 2, replied to this situation saying, that's a good question when asked about it. That's a good question. Stay tuned. Good find, though. This was further expanded when players also found a location on the map that seems to hint uh, to the hand organization joining this universe. Well, today we've got a couple more updates on this topic. The plaque writing is actually back via a uh, the latest patch for Spider-Man 2. Brian Intihar replied to this update saying, guess they paid their rents, <laughs> uh, which got a lot of people confused as to what's going on. Is this a bug or was this intentional? This was further uh, confusing when Brian Intihar went on the Insomniac Games live stream recently, yesterday actually. Actually. And at the end of the stream, before their, uh, the end of their session, he just said, where is Daredevil? And just ended it there. <laughs> People are even more confused now because they're wondering what, what is happening. Is, is Daredevil being teased? Was it a glitch? Is Brian trolling everyone? Uh, this is where we're pretty much at right now. Again, I would personally love if Daredevil joined the Insomniac Spider-Man universe. Give us a chance to play as him because... That kind, of, that kind of combat could be amazing uh, for this character. Playing with various sound-based abilities could also be a very unique superhero feature uh, for Daredevil himself. We'll see if this means anything or if anything happens, but you guys let me know if you think we're going to get Daredevil content from Insomniac or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, play PlayStation 2 on PlayStation 5 upgrade soon. So today we actually have a timeline, which is something 
Uh, we've never gotten before when it comes to these rumors, so it's definitely interesting to talk about. When it comes to PlayStation 2 emulation on PlayStation 5, it's been a weird scenario because Sony already has a PlayStation or had a PlayStation 2 emulator with the PlayStation 2 Classics program on PlayStation 4 that they stopped a long while ago at this point. Uh, that was a great program that brought back many PlayStation 2 Classics with uh, trophy support and visual enhancements. Pretty much what they're doing right now with uh, the PSP and PS1 Classics classics on playstation plus so it was interesting that when sony started pumping out uh classics again on playstation 4 and playstation 5 via the playstation plus program they kept giving us the psp versions of games that were also on the playstation 2 obviously the playstation 2 versions were superior but we just kept getting the playstation portable version which made it seem like the ps2 emulation option wasn't there for sony or something like that uh this might be changing soon so we've mainly focused on ps PS3 emulation on the channel here but for the PS2 side of things we had a uh, fellow YouTuber Mystic share that he's heard PS2 emulation is in the works earlier this year but like others who mentioned PS3 emulation being in the works no one has given any type of timeline. I will say Mystic isn't normally a leaker but as I said before if he's sharing this information about PS2 emulation then I assume he's seen something credible on the topic but to continue today we have written back again saying this over on X recently sources Sony to release a new slew of PlayStation 2 games for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 by the end of March they're preparing trophy support for several games alongside testing out their new emulator which is on par with the PS1 and PSP emulators uh, game prices to be $15 max he continued with Sony ended all PS2 on PS4 support years ago in favor of new PS1 and PS PSP emulators being uh, multiple times more stable and enhanced. It will be a huge jump in quality and was something that's been in the works for a long time. So I want to make this clear if it wasn't, I, as I said at the top of the story, this is a rumor for now, but definitely exciting stuff if it comes to fruition. Uh, this rumor can be held accountable compared to the past because a time frame has been given which again has never been given by any other person slash insider that's discussed the emulation topic for playstation so let's keep our eyes open to see if the playstation plus catalog gets ps2 classics in january february or march of next year i genuinely hope that this actually is the case that this rumor comes to fruition because it means progression on the emulators front for sony and more games for the classics catalog for us so let's see how this goes but you guys let me know if you want to play playstation 2 classics on your playstation 5 or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is a part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing but i want you guys to do the body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with give us the classics please obviously this is in reference to those playstation 2 classics hopefully that does come to fruition if you're excited for that destroy the comment section with give us the classics please and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one